Hi, I'm Laurent Siri, co-founder of the Turnkey Linux Open Source Appliances Project. Today I'll be demonstrating just how easy it is to install and start using a Turnkey Linux appliance in just a couple of minutes. As an example, I'll do that by installing Turnkey Joomla into a VirtualBox virtual machine. Joomla is a very popular and easy to use content management system. Our Turnkey Linux Joomla appliance is one of the easiest ways to set up a well-configured Joomla server in a virtual machine or on bare metal. I'm assuming you've already downloaded the Turnkey Joomla ISO image and installed VirtualBox, which is a free open source virtualization program that runs on Windows, Mac OS, and all the major Linux distributions. Let's get started. In VirtualBox, we'll create a new virtual machine. Give it a name. Select Ubuntu Linux as your operating system. The defaults here are fine, so we'll just click through. Let's tweak the configuration for our virtual machine a bit. Note there's an advanced option you'll need to check if you're using an AMD Barcelona CPU, right here. Configure networking to bridge to our LAN. First time we start, VirtualBox will ask us to configure installation media. We'll select the ISO we downloaded earlier. We select install the hard disk to boot the appliance straight into the live installer. This is the turnkey Linux installer. The default is to set up partitioning to use the entire disk. Copying the appliance file system to the virtual hard drive usually takes about a minute. Set the root password and verify it. Set the MySQL database password. Let's restart. The ISO is still configured as our installation media, which brings us back to the menu. We could select the boot from hard disk option, but instead I'll just power down the virtual machine. When we power it back up, VirtualBox forgets about the installation media, so we don't have to reconfigure anything. After installing the appliance, we'll be booting from the virtual hard drive. When we finish booting, we'll see the configuration console's usage screen which provides us information regarding the various network services on this appliance. Let's connect to the main web application first, in this case Joomla. As you can see, we've embedded the default credentials into the welcome page, along with a link to the Joomla administration console. Let's log in and see what that looks like. Now let's log into Webmin, which is a system-level web management interface common to all turnkey Linux appliances. Unfortunately, Firefox 3 will show a scary warning and force us to add a silly exception to allow self-signed SSL certificates. Doesn't really make sense. We log in with the root password we set during installation. Some basic stats. Let's browse the Webmin menu. You have useful tools such as command shell and basic file management, system level configuration, server configurations, networking configurations, now let's connect to phpMyAdmin, which is a great MySQL database front-end. Change the port. Again, we'll have to add an exception. Log in with a MySQL root password we set during installation. For example, let's browse Joomla's database tables. Of course, under the hood our appliances are basically a customized Ubuntu. Power users who want to access the command line can do that via SSH, the secure shell service that also provides SFTP for secure file transfer. Pinging Google from inside the appliance. That's it. Thank you for watching. You can find more information on our website. Hope you enjoy Turnkey Linux. Bye bye.